chats. Welcome to Drama Monday. Why? Twitch couldn't authenticate the streams on Friday on April Fools, so which made it seem like a big joke. Ha 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 ha. And we just didn't have a show. Really fun. Sat here under the studio lights. The studio lights provided great warmth for my struggle as I sat here not doing a show. Having prepared the show. Having the show sat in alignment. I have to move all my monitors and everything to get the show set up. So it's all like, boom, right? Boom. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't do it. Just sat here, just fucking around. Just trying to get my fucking stream working. Being told that I was already streaming and all kinds of shit. Fucking Twitch. Goofed me up, man. You goofed up my flow. I had my energy all sorted. Uh, but so we're going to have it on a Monday, which is also a big mistake. Because I made the ultimate mistake of having a stream last night. Trying to finish Bloodborne. Trying to finish it before Dark Souls 3. Trying to squeeze in every little hour that we have free. Unfortunately, we did decide to have some beers because the entire stream chat was drinking. So I blame all of them. And then, of course, uh, I was convinced by that point after a few beers to watch WrestleMania. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And feel like I was 16 again. I was so 16, I ordered Domino's pizza. And it came at like 2 in the morning and couldn't eat it because it was gross. It was fucking gross. I sat there like this pig with my beer and my Domino's like, oh my god, I've gone back to being at college again. Uh, but a hell of an experience. And then getting up, of course, two hours later with my kids. So it's been a hell of a day. So good, in fact. And you're probably saying, where's the next big complete overview? Let me tell you. I did seven dungeons over the last four days. Seven. Do you think any of them made it past the second boss? No. Today... I had groups fall apart in the Violet Hold normal. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to like, I'm talking, right? I'm doing the Elemental Shaman. I've been promising it since like Tuesday. I'm like, I just can't get a dungeon done with this fucking thing. So I was like, sat there. <laughs> I'm sat there, I'm like, doing my spiel, right? Talking about it, because it's really fun. It's really good. I'm having a great time. Saying something that I've said seven times already, right? Trying to keep it fresh. Because for you guys, it'll be the first time. For me, it's the seventh that I've said a lot of this shit. And I'm fucking doing it. And they're fucking dying all over the place. I'm like, it's Violet Hold Normal. What the fuck is even going on here? What the fuck? How do you die to the trash in Violet Hold Normal? Explain to me. I'm sat there like full health going, what's going on here? And the people are like, I'm burning to death. Why is this thing on the floor that doesn't move? Killing me. Killing me. Have we got music going? Right, cool, it's alright. We got me killing me over and over again. I don't know what's going on. Earth Elemental Forever. <laughs> Even though it's not as good anymore. Earth, Earth Elemental Forever. Oh, it was a fucking nightmare. What a day. What an absolute day. Yeah, it was a fucking joke. So that's, what, that's what's happening. I might have to rethink it. I don't know what I could do. I cannot. I might have to bring in ringers is what I'll have to do. I'll have to make pre-organized groups, which I hate. I hate that. I hate that. I like it when it's all randoms and crazy fun things can happen. It makes a better show. Uh, but they can't seem to get anything done. <laughs> so There are people instant leaving dungeons now. I'm fucking not even lying. They're instant leaving. If you get like the Arcway in Legion or Vault of the Wardens, the group instantly disbands. Like the second it pops up. Like, nope, not doing it. Can't do it. Not having anything to do with it. Like, oh my god. Oh, well, that's not why you're here today. That's not why you're here today. So we're running off a couple of hours of sleep. We're good. And we're going to have some good times. I've got a goofy drama set up here. Goofy. The first story I'm going to read to you is so cute. <laughs> so cute. The, the author. God bless you. You know when you submit a drama story to me. This is an occasion where I'm going to take the piss out of you. Because it's funny. And you think this drama is about one thing. Don't you? You think the drama story you wrote me is about the drama that happened to you. But it's not. It's not. It's about you being a little boy playing yourself some World of Warcraft. And we're going to have a good time with it. Yeah, we are. We're going to have a little fun. So, oh, to be a little boy. I wish I was a little boy. I'm writing this off my phone. Warning number one. <laughs> Warning number one. I'm writing it off my phone. <laughs> Did you make your guild app in five minutes? God, of course I did it in five minutes. God, it's not supposed to be like a job. God. <laughs> Guild app should never be like that. Okay. And, of course, taking names from the Patreon, which just keeps rocking. It keeps getting swapped, actually. I think people are putting different names in. Yeah. Do, do, do.
Okay. Oh, close. Close. We almost made it. Let's see if we can fix it. Yeah. Dee -dee -dee. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah, that'll do. All good. We're doing well. <clears throat> Patreon Master Race. Pay to win. Pay to win channel. Confirmed. Despite all the cool shit you guys get out of it, still pay to win. Still pay to win. I'll take that all day. All right, then. This is just like one pi one paragraph. It's one paragraph. Are you ready? It's cute. It is. Be ready. Get your cute faces ready. Here we go. My time in WoW started in late vanilla. Old school, right? Old school. In late vanilla. But my drama didn't start until mid Wrath of the Lich King when I was age 12. My mum... <laughs> my mum and stepfather... <clears throat> also played WoW. And we even raided together in a family-friendly guild. Yeah? You get in the picture. It's a family-friendly guild. Mummy, daddy, me, 12. <laughs> Kicking ass, taking names. It's all good. Right around that time, when Ulduar was released, I got fully knack-geared on my feral druid. On his kitty cat. Yeah, and his little meow. Yeah, meow. Keep in mind, I was 12. I had no key bindings. And here you go. For all of you university students, boom, memory bomb about to drop. He played World of Warcraft on his HP Pavilion laptop. Oh, who remembers the HP Pavilion laptops? Entire student lives were dominated by the HP Pavilion laptop. I remember it well. My wife had one. That's what her parents got her for university. Probably cost like a thousand dollars. Had a CD-ROM in it. Right? <laughs> CD-ROM. Had about, a, like, a meg of memory. <laughs> had a meg of memory. 10 gigabyte hard drive. Right? Mostly taken up by Windows. So fucking good. Came free with Norton's antivirus. So that's going to keep your daughter safe at university. The most important thing is safety at the university. It's got Norton's antivirus on it. 100%. Secure as fuck. Don't even worry about it. And I had to play on the end of my mother's desk. Yeah, with his little feral druid. What a guy. This was a huge achievement for me. Getting Nax geared in, IC in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. It was a pretty big deal, I'll have you know. Nax, uh, you couldn't just... Uh, you couldn't just beat Nax a few hours after the game launched. Couldn't do that. It was a thing. We were... <laughs> This is so sad, guys. <laughs> we were on our fifth week of progress on the XT Deconstructor Normal. I can't relate to that. <laughs> I try. I try. I try and think, like, so who could be watching my video? Right? This might be the first video they see from me, right? And I'm like, I've got to sort of bear that in mind that it could be the first video. Every single video I make could be the first video for someone, right? For somebody. And I try to bear in mind how people might be, what stage of WoW they might be in in the PvE world. But for me, XT Deconstructor died an hour after all the WoW was released. <laughs> And we were like, this is a really easy dungeon. <laughs> so, <laughs> what the fuck are we supposed to say? No, 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 no. A little brilliant boss. A brilliant boss. But even his hard mode died like an hour into the fight. I don't know. It was pretty good. Uh, but he was in the top three pulling about six and a half to seven K DPS. Now, that sounds like big numbers until you realize... The uh, uh, Feral Druids were really broken, because I played one. I was a main Feral Druid in Ulduar for the most part. And uh, yeah, we were broken as fuck. It was really easy. After being stuck on this boss for weeks. On the XTD Constructor. Normal. It's weeks of progress. We'll get it tonight, lads. It's them fucking debuffs, right? you got to move out the group. Tough stuff. So, did that even happen on normal? I'm sure it did, right? It happened on normal. I'm pretty sure it did. After being stuck on this boss for weeks, when he finally hit the earth, and that juicy, juicy sparkling appeared above his corpse, 
Right after that, we never killed a single boss in Alduar again. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Steelbreaker broke you. He chose you and he broke you. Collagan was fucking clapping and laughing all fucking day, man. Couldn't get it down. Couldn't do it. Nope. Cock block. Cock block Collagan. We all remember, right, lads? Cock block Collagan. What a bro. Until ICC. Until ICC. In ICC, we made it all the way to the plague ring. The plague wing. But our cock block there. What was the cock block? <laughs> what was the cock block of the plague wing ICC? XT Breaker of Guilds. Yeah, exactly. We couldn't kill Rot Rot Gut. <laughs> I think he's called Rot Face, isn't he? Rot Gut. And Rip. Rip the Guild. Fell apart. Yeah, the Plague Wing. Rot Face. Yeah, Rot Face. Oh, Festa Gut. He called Rot Gut in here. He got them mixed together. Rot Gut. 12. <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> the dogs. How do we how do we progress these dogs? Yeah, I know, Cloggy. <laughs> how do we progress these dogs? They AOE us all. What do we do? I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to Walls of Draenor. The first. Now, where would our man go? Ask yourself the question. You're 12 years old. Rot Gut and Collagan have stumped progress for far too many years now. Months and months of work has been put into them. Where does our man go? Where does he head to? Enter Walls of Draenor. PvP, mate. PvP. I'm still fucking Feral Druid. But I joined a new guild as the one I was in before. Died at the end of Mr. Pandaria. Made Rogue Friend. Rogue Feral, mate. <laughs> rogue Feral. And his name was Gol. My Rogue Friend. Gol was decent at the game, but he had no fucking gear like, no resilience and that. So I carried my new pal to full conquest gear. Yeah? Fucking nailed it. Easy mode. Soon after, I became more active in this guild. Bad idea though, bros. Bad idea. There was a PvE noob side of the guild that was run by Slash, a dickhead. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. You up to date? This dickhead started an e relationship with the guild resto shaman, Brachine, because she was a girl. That was it. That was his requirement. That's why he did it. Because the girl. Because the girl. But this woman was married with three kids. Yeah, Brachine? Yeah? Yeah? No one knew that there were a thing until one night. One night in team speak. Yeah? He was saying his good nights to the rest of the guild and then suddenly dropped. Night, baby girl. Text me tomorrow. Hmm. Baby girl. What the fuck? If I called my wife baby girl, she'd punch me in the dick twice. To which we all went, what? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Gol and I ignored most of this So you just wanted to PvP mate Just PvP Not interested in those PvE noobs But the guild was starting to fall apart A Slash was giving spots to Brachine And she was shit at the game She was you know She was shit at the game I whispered her once about her key bindings And she said What are key bindings? Now I'm not usually much of an arsehole to people I don't know very well But this tipped me over the fucking edge mate You gotta be fucking joking me I said she then tried to claim I wasn't a great player. But then Gol. Gol stepped in for me and said, Are you ready? Are you ready? Gol stepped into me and said, Tell that to his 2k achievement, you stupid twat. PvP, mate, do you even? Tell that to my 2k achievement. And the argument was done. As soon as that happened, mate. As soon as I dropped my fucking PvP rating on her. Yeah? 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 My massive PvP dick. Smashed her right in the fucking nose. She knew what was up. In the end, the dickhead and the shaman left the guild and tried to make their own guild. And after 6.2, they left the game. I quit playing at the end for a few months. Came back at 6.2, but I haven't played for a druid. I haven't played my druid since I'm waiting for Legion before I get serious PvP again. Yeah? And that's the end of the story. Because he dropped the fucking 2k rating on her face. All over it like a big sweaty hairy pube fuck. All over her. Do you know what I mean, mate? And that. 
Oh, I love that story. It's so cute. It's so cute. Dropping the rating bomb. Boom. Jewel me though. Jewel me though. It's one step away from jewel me though. And I fucking love it. It's so fucking cool. Right, let's go to a backwater town in USA. Okay. <laughs> Serious, mate. <laughs> Look at my rating. What's your rating? Jewel me though. What's your rating? What's your rating? Right, okay. So we need... Oh, Francis? We need Francis. We need... Uh, there we are. And last one, who is a warlock, is... <laughs> there we go. 2.2k <laughs> or jewel me, mate. Jewel me, though. Jewel me. Right, then. What constantly kills you apparently makes you stronger. So we're told. So we're told by our guy here. You ready? It's mid-2004. Cast your mind back to 2004. And I... 13 years old, was scrounging the websites. Miniclip.com. Look at miniclip.com. I don't even know what that is. Looking for another time killer game to play. Up until this point, I had been a console peasant. I had every Nintendo system released, only using my PC for educational games or mini games. Yeah? I had only played a couple of RPGs, like being Dragon Warrior and Super Mario RPG. And the term MMO was all but foreign to me. But that was about to change. I don't know what Miniclip is. Miniclip was awesome. Flash games. Oh, right. Yeah. What's it called? This is a different one now, I'm sure. The top 10 games list featured on the front page had a new front runner. A game exploding in popularity called RuneScape. It had recently released its second version, now known as Old School RuneScape. Upon entering the game, I immediately fell in love. Despite being a total noob, I at first couldn't distinguish NPCs from human players. We've all been there. We've all been there. And had even attempted to use chat to speak to random NPCs, not knowing to click on them to interact. <laughs> RuneScape. <laughs> even though I was overwhelmed at the freedom to do whatever I chose to do. RuneScape was a good starter MMO for one as experienced as myself, being very simple and easy to pick up. Very shortly after playing, I started telling my friends about my new found hobby, and the first to join was my best friend, Francis. Francis was an exceptionally kind person. Even though he was a bit of a prankster, a bit of a cheeky monkey, and loved getting into useless arguments over whoever would give him the time of day, I remember the day he joined, he asked if he could borrow my hammer. And after using it, ran away laughing when I asked for it back. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, when someone steals your shit. I gave chase, of course, screaming, I need that to make money. Being completely unaware, I could just buy another for a trivial amount of gold. At any general store. Stole his blacksmith hammer, bros. <laughs> oh, Francis. <laughs> you are. Every time. What a guy. The next to join was Royston. He had no previous MMO experience, yet immediately played the game vigorously and had a much more serious attitude than Francis, yeah? Royston and I often competed for who had the highest skills. And I remember logging off just before bed, knowing, knowing, <laughs> that, <laughs> what a nightmare this world is. <laughs> what a nightmare this world is. Knowing that Royston was still mining. Bastard. Leveling his fucking mining, but I've got to sleep. And the next morning, after getting a solid eight hours, finding Royston was still online, still leveling his mining. Motherfucker. Outplayed. Royston going ham. Going ham as a motherfucker. <sighs> this mindset would, of course, lead for Royston to have a fairly successful MMO career. <laughs> he had the makings of... He, he had what it took. He knew what it needed to get done in this MMO world. <laughs> he was there. He liked it. The third to join was Keys. He had no previous MMO experience, yet immediately played the game. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. The third to join was Key. Somebody who I had a strained relationship with, yeah? Due to sports. 
None of us can relate. Very into sports is Keys. A sportsman. Yeah, in the game, we got along quite well. Years later, we've become one of my best friends and still remains one to this day. Overall, he was quiet on the game. Yeah? Which contrasted him being the class clown in real life. Keys didn't take the game too seriously, but he enjoyed it, usually having goals to discover quick money-making schemes. With sports, no doubt. And then finally, there was Crank. He didn't play RuneScape nearly as much as the rest of us, yet was a total fucking video game mega nerd. He tended to stick to Xbox or other games and had skills in Halo that would make anyone else cry with envy. Yeah? PC Master Race, my ass, Crank will take you to fucking school in Halo. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah? Think you're funny with your fucking mouse and keyboard? Pick up that pad, mate. Let's Xbox. Yeah? Let's Halo. Fucking well good. That's all I'm saying. There were numerous others from our small town of 800. I cannot picture a place where only 800 people live. That is crazy. That is crazy. 800 people. There were numerous others from our small town of 800 who also played. Crank's younger brother, who was a money-making genius, of course. Keys, Keys' younger brother, as well as a slew of others. One of which I didn't even realise play the game until I almost killed him in the wilderness. Before seeing their username and concluding that I actually knew him. I knew him in real life. Back what I can you guys can rec you guys know what that's like that is crazy that is really crazy 800 people yeah exactly I like trolled on like a small town to me is like a few thousand people that is nuts but we have like no room in the UK every single inch is filled for months we all played RuneScape we had an amazing time we would train skills together go off mining as a team wow occasionally questing player killing speaking about making a guild and maybe one day having our own website Ugh. and most important of all chatting to each other but then late 2004 something happened which before seeing their user before would end all this a little game had just been released that world of warcraft none of you'll remember who remembers when it came out does anyone remember what a fucking time that was. Everybody was leaving. <laughs> no, yeah, you feel I was one of those stubborn bastards. I, like, I said this in my vanilla video. It looked really fairy. <laughs> Warcraft looked really fairy. It looked a little bit on the floppy side, I've gotta be honest. And I was playing like a hardcore killer PvP MMO and looking at wow, but every day more and more of your friends just fucking disappeared, man. And they fucking were like sponged into this game. <laughs> If you were around when it came out, it was a fucking horrible time. If you had, if you were having fun in your game, you were fucked. You were fucked. If you could, because everyone just disappeared. Every day, there'd be one less guy. And you're like, where is he? He's playing WoW. He's playing WoW. He's playing WoW. The first to make the switch was Crank. He made a human paladin very shortly into the launch of Vanilla. Not much later, Francis went over too. He made the switch. Dwarf Hunter, mate. The next to leave, of course, was Royston. He rolled a human paladin as well. But later would become a Draenei warrior. And would end up being the t <laughs> having stood alongside Sko's Draenei Warrior. Nope. <laughs> and would end up being the tank for a guild which would down Illidan. Before disbanding before at the Sunwell due to not having the time to commit to another raid. E even some of the others I was not as close to had made the switch. Both younger brothers of Crank and uh, Royston were playing as shamans for the Horde. While the one I had almost killed rolled a Night Elf Rogue. The only people who remained in RuneScape were literally Keys... And I. That's it. He means later on, obviously, Chishikaru. He <laughs> means later on in the game. For a number of months, we continued to try and make RuneScape work. We tried. This is the game. This is the one I love. RuneScape will live again. It's only a fad. World of Warcraft will die off. It's fine. For a number of months, we continued to play RuneScape. We're having fun. But then the day came. Keys and I were talking. And right out of nowhere, Keys dropped that bomb. I'm gonna go play WoW. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but nobody's even playing this fucking game anymore. I'm gonna go play WoW. <sighs> he went on to roll as a human warlock. I wasn't even angry at this point. Everybody had gone. I wished him well with his new game. But admittedly, out of stubbornness, 
I stuck around in RuneScape. And I was really lonely. After Key's departure. I continued playing and refused to make the switch. Just assuming they would all come back. It's just a fad. They'll all come back. You see, nobody quits RuneScape. Nobody. They'll be back in a minute. Upon entering high school, I ran track and field with Crank, who during the bus rides to and from practices and meets would sit next to me and tell me all about WoW. Bastard. <laughs> what a bastard. Oh, you know another way that WoW's better than RuneScape? All these reasons. Oh, I remembered another one. This is also better. And this is better as well. Did you know in WoW, you can't in RuneScape, but in WoW, you could do all this stuff. Let me tell you some more about... No, no, you shut the fuck up about RuneScape. Let me tell you some more about WoW. Every single fucking day. Let me tell you about the best thing I did today in WoW, which you didn't because you were playing RuneScape. Let me just tell you about that. He would tell me all the various gameplay elements. He would then tell me about the lore, which honestly sounded like shit to me. Good man. <laughs> Both Francis and Royston remarked on how a single zone in WoW likely dwarfed the entire map of RuneScape, a claim which I believe is true, as well as having much better gameplay and graphics. Keys agreed with all these statements and began mentioning how it was time that I gave up on RuneScape. It was time. I had no intention of playing the game the group were talking amongst themselves regarding what class I should play. I was saying I'm sticking with RuneScape while they were deciding my fate. Considering they already had a paladin, hunter, warrior, warlock, rogue and mage from our school playing, they suggested that I be a druid. I shrugged. And eventually though, I said okay. But still had no intention of playing. Until a random school night. When Keys took matters into his own hands. I was sitting at my computer. Rocking the runescape. And got a text from Keys. Staying. But not asking. But stating. That he was going to come to my house. With the discs. And asking me what time I should he should come. I knew it was time. I told him to come out as soon as he could. And with him he brought his multiple CDs for the WoW installation, as well as his Burning Crusade expansion discs, which had been released just months prior. As one disc installed, we would go into the basement, shoot pool while shooting the shit, going upstairs every so often to change the discs. Once all the discs- ha oh, memories. Once all the discs had been installed, we then let the internet download the patches, and set up a trial account using Keezy's guest pass in order to give him a month of free game time. Keys went home, I went to bed. And the download continued throughout the night. The following morning, I awoke to find the game fully installed. I made the night elf druid, as I was told, and was immediately greeted by the gorgeous forests of Teldrassil. Bastard, this game's way better. Fuck! God damn! I've been playing RuneScape for a fucking year! Ah! Bastard! As soon as you log in, you know, right? You probably don't anymore, right? Because there's all these really good-looking, beautiful MMOs out there now. But back then, fuck me. You logged in, you were like, shit. This game is well good, and I know it is. Bastard. Bastard, bastard, bastard. I wanted it to suck. I wanted it to fucking suck, but it doesn't. God damn it. Fuck. I've been playing fucking RuneScape from mining and shit. The fuck am I doing? I ran around and started to explore. Beat a boar to death with my staff before logging off to go to school. I told my friends that I had made my character and logged in. I said I'll log in when I get home. After years of being stubborn, I was finally a WoW player. The first couple of levels were fine. I was getting used to the controls, spell bindings. I could say I was never a clicker, which is the only compliment I can give myself early in the game. Just a few quests in, Francis arrived to greet me and show off his new stalker pet, warp stalker pet. And even run me through the spider cave to give me a quick boost. However, I hit the wall. Once I left the initial starting area, I started to die a lot. I inquired about this in the group chat for our town, leading to suggestions of, Are you using your spells? Do you wow? Do you even wow? Are you aware of what patrols are? Etc. However, there was one question. Which brought an unknown disadvantage to light. Yeah. Oh, we all remember. What's it called? It's not Darkshore, is it? Is it Darkshore? Darkshore after Teldrassil, I think. You take the boat. That place where you take the boat to. It's got the big fucking spear in the ground. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what was the question? What was the question that you got asked? And you went, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> 
What's your latency, bro? Keys asked. Latency? I had never heard of latency before. So I thought he was talking about levels. So I said 11. <laughs> he went, 11? <laughs> uh, yeah, latency, mate. 11. Sorted, mate. <laughs> Sorted. Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm not a noob. <laughs> he said, no, there's a bar on the bottom right of your screen by your bags. What color is that bar? Red, mate. <laughs> Red. He then said, hold your mouse over the bar and tell you what number appeared. So I typed the number. 1300. Don't even know what it means. 1300. <clears throat> Which was met with numerous... Uh-oh. <laughs> and oh, shit. <clears throat> because of where I lived, 800-man town, right? 800-man town. The only internet, internet we could get was satellite internet. Now, we never had that in the UK, I don't think. But I assume you're sending your signal off to the stars and then back down to Earth again to tell it that you pressed the button. And then somewhere, a server is sending another signal back into space and then down to your little house, to your dish, to then say, yeah, you did, you pressed the bar, you pressed the button. Let's moonfire. I assume that's the satellite interwebs just flying through the sky. Does it disrupt when it rains? Does it disrupt when it rains? Like Sky TV? Like, <laughs> Sky TV disrupts when it rains. I'm sure it still does. It did when I was a kid. It did when I was a kid. If it rained heavily, you couldn't... You couldn't watch Sky TV. <laughs> oh, it's raining. In the UK, we have this system that you can pay a lot of money per month for TV. And it doesn't work in the rain. <laughs> it's fucking genius. It's well played. As if there was a better system out there. <clears throat> if only. Okay, satellite internet. That sounds well shit. Oh my god. Well, I don't know. This is probably pre-4G. My 4G is really fast, actually. I have 4G on my phone. It's fast as fuck. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Besides it. <laughs> it was notoriously bad for online gaming. For years I had played RuneScape with this internet. But didn't know any better. Believing that it was normal for my characters to not react to my clicks for a few seconds. <laughs> it's a good game. It takes a, It's a few seconds of delay when you press your buttons. And everyone's like, what? No, it isn't. This is happening straight away. In RuneScape it was really easy to deal with. But in WoW, those Darkshore mobs... Boom! Boom! In RuneScape, in WoW, whew, with spell rotations and timings, this was going to be a big problem. How am I going to Darkshore like this? This makes no sense. Now, I'm not saying... Yeah, it's so realistic, right? It's immersive. I'm not saying I would have been a good player without the latency issues. I was still a noob at WoW. But early in leveling, I thought it would be a good idea to jump off Teldrassil into the ocean. We all did it. We all did it. We all did it. But I got hit by one of the branches on the way down, killing myself. I did that. I, I can admit that was in my first few hours of playing WoW. I totally did that. Because you, you realize how high up you are. It's really fun. Uh, you got to jump off it, right? Who's not going to jump off it? <clears throat> During that corpse run, though, my ghost, of course, ended up missing every branch, plummeting to the ocean, causing me to fatigue, kill my wisp farm, and have to take res sickness at the graveyard. Francis, who was re-leveling his warlock after leaving his old one, and I were also run through a dungeon by Crank. And when a piece of gear, which Francis desired, finally dropped, not realising I couldn't use it, I need-rolled it. And unknowingly ninja it from my friends. <laughs> Even though I got numerous green items as they were boosting me, I shortly after replaced the greens with whites from a vendor because the armor value is higher. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see what he's saying. That item's green and blue. But... But, bro, 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 sh yeah, shut up a minute, right? Look at the armor value. I'm gonna die less, so get scienced, motherfucker. More armor. Oh, fuck, uh, but I get more gold for the green stuff to allow me to buy more white stuff. And, ergo, hashtag victory, trending all over this motherfucker. So, I went through quite a lot of my wildlife, just upgrading my gear based on the armor value. <laughs> Upon finding out about this, <laughs> upon finding out about this, Royston just said, dude, what are you doing? What about the stats? I didn't understand. 
I didn't use most of my spells. I didn't understand most of the game's mechanics. In short, I was shit at this game, but I had decent enough armor. So, there you go. Everything's got a bright side. Right, team? Everything's a winner somewhere. Despite this, I was having a lot of fun leveling up my druid. It's really good. I don't use any of the spells, but I've got a wicked sick armor value. And genuinely speaking, I have a really good time. The chat was always active with Francis and Keys and Royston arguing over which class was the best or what they best or what best to play each class was, prompting Crank to level a hunter from 1 to 70 just to duel Francis me. And then never use the character again. Every time I would leveled, I was spam ding. And we met with numerous congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Why are you level 30? Kratz. Ding! <laughs> oh, good God. <clears throat> if I could filter that in my WoW chat, that would be the dream. I'm sure I could do that with some chat mod. That would be awesome. And uh, Royston, moaning at me to hit 58 so he could join me in Outland. Ding! Crank was there for the first time. I teleported to Moonglade for my bear farm quest chain. I bet that's not even in the game anymore, is it? If the Warlocks have lost their pet summon quests, the Druids have definitely lost their their farm quests. Am I right? Do you even have to do a quest for flight farm now? I bet you don't. The seal one was really good. You had to dive really, really deep. Like, risk death. It was cool. Uh, and watched in horror as a max level horde murdered me in cold blood. Crank dispatched the horde player and camped his body. An experience which first introduced me to the opposite faction. Yeah, it's gone. Class fantasy. Am I right, players? <laughs> it's bad for immersion to do a quest to get and be able to turn into a different animal. You just learn it. Yeah. <clears throat> and ganking in general. Upon reaching level 58, Keys greeted me at the dark portal and ran through with me as I was introduced to the Outland. Through numerous deaths at the hands of mobs and gankers, through latency which never, ever dropped below 700, but often skyrocketed to 2 or even 3,000 if I was lucky enough to not disconnect and log back into my corpse. I persevered through it all and finally, finally hit level cap. So what do I do now? I'm capped. I didn't have the time to raid. Max level dungeons went horrible if they involved anything like mechanics. <laughs> or if I went with my friends who had long forgotten about my internet dilemma and just thought I was shit. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> You've been playing so long with this bad lag. That people have forgotten. And now they just resign to the fact that you fucking shit at the game. That's really bad. They noticed my slow leveling. My frequent deaths in and outside of dungeons. They had pretty much given up on me ever being a decent player. However. The friend who played a rogue showed me PvP. Yes. There is a haven. There is a haven for players. Like our man. There is a haven. Warsong Gulch. Arathi Basin. Eye of the Storm were fun. But Alterec Valley was when my jaw dropped. The combination of PvP, PvE, and with it being so big, I could easily blend in with the rest of the army and hide the fact that I was pretty much dead weight. <laughs> if there's ever been an argument for 40 man raids to be their return, just saying, having room for baddies in a raid ain't the end of the world. Ain't the end of the world. It's alright. It's alright. Look, no one kills me because I'm in here. It's pretty good. Despite having fun, I was undergeared. I didn't know my class as well as others, which combined with latency led to me actually getting killed when I wasn't just in a big pack of people. Regardless, I persisted though. We'll push through this shit. We're gonna do it. AV is my jam. I played battleground after battleground. I was watching what other druids would do to see how they played. Learning rotations and how to handle different, different situations. Along with this piece by piece, I was still acquiring gear. I was still learning to cope with latency, which was vastly different than quest mobs. And one random night, it started to become together. I went to Keyes' house to hang with his younger brother. Now here's a moment you'll all resonate with. It's happened to us all. And in their shed were two side-by-side -side computers. I logged in and immediately felt my dick shrivel. I saw WoW on a non-potato computer. Fuck my life.
I had only ever run Warcraft at the absolute lowest settings. The frame rate was smooth. I had already obtained decent gear on my own PC, and most importantly, they had almost no latency. I needed a Wrath of Base and Marks of Honor. So into the battleground I went, and this is when I turned from a fucking pussy to a king. Suddenly I was the top DPSer, as well as killing blows. My killing blows, just look at them. My teammates were dying less due to me actually being able to heal them before they died. My class was a hybrid class. I was using the abilities Blizzard had down with me. The first battleground was a win. The second was a win. The third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. Win, win, win. I was supreme. I was winning game after game. I wouldn't die. With numerous corpses of my enemies strewn about my feet. Key's brother mentioned how impressed he was with my playing. Yet nobody else knew of these victories. Francis, Royston, Crank. They had no idea what had occurred. And probably still viewed me as the biggest shitlord in history. And part of me wishes they could have just witnessed me playing on this PC. Because of course the next day. It was back to the potato. Once again the latency. I still did okay in PvP. Continued to do the battlegrounds all the way through the rest of the expansion. I had to play on satellite internet until halfway through Wrath of the Lich King. And I finally got better internet. When I moved to college. Witness me. <laughs> Wrath was the final expansion I was into. I tried Cat and Miss and Wad, But more casually. Keys and Crank. All casual. Francis stopped. I don't even believe that Royston played anymore. The two of us occasionally hop on old school RuneScape. And play for nostalgia's sake. I still love WoW. But thinking of that one afternoon. That one afternoon when I was no longer a noob. When I wasn't the scrub that all my close IRL friends believed I was. That was my day. And I've yet to have it again. Oh, come on. Your heart has to go out. Your heart has to bleed for our man. It has to. Right, we're good on time. We're good. Oh, I timed it really well. Hey, yeah. You've got to. You've got to. You've got to go. The Cilla and Cinderella story. That was his day. All the feels. Oh, the HB Pavilion. I'm hitting you with it today. I'm hitting you with it today. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hitting you with it today. Right. Uh, we need a lady. Lady! Uh, there we go. All the feels. Oh, I spelled Blizzard wrong. Look at me. What a hero. I'm so good. I'm so good. It's outrageous. There we go. Do, 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 do. Blizzard. Blizzard. Da -da. Okay. We're good. Right, let's go. Let's go. We gotta go fast. Part one then. My story of WoW starts back in the days of playing Warcraft 3 custom maps. You know, Dota. All-Stars, Winter Mall, Angel Arena, and of course, mate, Escape from Gay Heaven. I don't know that one, unfortunately. Up to this point, why would you escape, though? Up to this point, I'd been a Blizzard fan all my life. My dad had bought me and my brother all kinds of awesome games like Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Warcraft 2, and more. My dad was also a pro a pro gamer and a PC enthu a programmer <laughs> a programmer and a PC enthusiast and he built my brother and I our own PCs Lanning Worms 2 was the fucking shit can confirm can confirm Lanning Worms 2 was the shit it was well good I land Worms 2 I was 13 or 14 when I heard that Blizzard was making a new Warcraft game where you could be your own hero my brother and I got into the beta and I rolled my night elf druid this game was sick 
I had never been so hooked onto a game since Star Wars Galaxies or Fantasy Star Online. I also fondly remember the last moments of Beta. There was a server-wide countdown to the shutdown, and we, the night elf of players of the area, thought it'd be funny to get naked and dance on the moon wells at Oberdeen in the final seconds. <laughs> Our dad pulled a solid and bought me and my brother a copy of WoW the day it released. But only one copy outplayed what a dad. Threw the fucking meat to the wolves, yeah? Whoever wins, wins. Joker style. Once he learned there was a monthly fee involved, he refused to get us our own accounts. So he had to share. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much? How much? No. No. I don't think so. This wasn't much of an issue, issue though. I had rolled a new Night Elf and, de and decided, fuck Druid, I'm going Rogue, mate, for PvP. I was enthralled with the class. I could go invisible, though. I also love sprinting. For some reason, I thought, shit, this is well overpowered. I was faster than other people in Warsaw Gulch. Game-breaking. Then one day, I did something incredibly fucking stupid. I had heard of hacks. People used in the game. Of course, they rumours spread amongst people chit-chatting. I thought cheating in WoW was the height of scumology. While I was googling how to find out what they did. <laughs> cheating is so bad. How is this spelt though? <laughs> WoW hacks, only a dick could do that. I'm just curious though. I'm just curious like a cat as to what you could do. I would never do it though. Hmm. Just figuring it out. Just figuring it out. No, I'm not going to do it like it's scummy. It's scummy. Oh. And then I stumbled upon a speed hack. Who remembers the speed hack? <laughs> Does any of you guys remember that? It might even still be around. I've not seen it in years though. This is the only hack on the site that I thought looked amazing. And then I had to justify it to myself. I justified downloading it by saying, well, you don't get mounts till level 40, right? And running is kind of slow. Sprint has a cooldown. I tell you what. I tell you what. I'll make a deal with you, game. I'll use the speed hack till I get a mount. And then I'll definitely turn it off. Yeah? Sounds fair to me. Right? Justified as fuck. If Blizzard call me, I'll tell them. I'm only using it till I get a mount. Yeah? And then I'm easy going to play by the rules. No worries. So, in that respect, it ain't that scummy. You know? I downloaded it and ran it. And to my surprise, it worked. A new UI was sitting on my screen. And you could just click different speeds that would make your character go fast as fuck. I was like, oh my god. As I sped across terrains, not only did the hack make you go over a thousand percent faster, but your character completely ignored terrain obstructions. I whizzed past another player and I stopped and told him about the new hack I was using. Because I was so excited about using it. And I'll be honest, I felt pretty badass and then sprinted off like the fucking flash. I'm hacking! <laughs> oh, oh, bro. To be a dick. <laughs> to be a young piece, a young guy. <laughs> hey, my best friend in WoW, my best friend who I moved to WoW with on the same day, he used to speed hack and he got his account banned. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I had loads of friends banned for all sorts of stupid shit. A guy who got banned for fishing all night in Whaling Caverns because he was sending deviant fish to us. <laughs> <laughs> we all got the benefits. It was like, oh, I've got a fishing bot. It's well good. Fishing all the deviant fish in whaling cabins and then sending them to us. So he got banned. I got like hundreds of deviant fish. It was well good deal. He was fine with it. He didn't give a shit. <laughs> he was doing it on like an alt account. Back in the day. Back in the day. I was running on top of Ironforge when I received a whisper. The name had GM next to it. He asked, excuse me. <laughs> Can I ask you a few questions, sir? Pull over. <laughs> Pull over. Pull over. Yeah? Pull over. I turned my computer off and ran away. Da! Oh, I fall. I knew what I had done. I knew I'd been busted. Shit. Run away from the PC and it'll all be fine. You can't ban me if I'm not online, right? 13-year-old <laughs> science. 13-year-old science. How could he do it if I'm not online? Fucking noob. Ah, got you. The player I bragged to probably reported me. Oh, Blizzard just tracked my shit and found me out. 
I logged on later to find out that our account was banned. Run away, hide under your bed. It'll be fine. When my dad and brother... Oh, no. <clears throat> What's his... <laughs> He's going to get asked by his... Um... <laughs> He's going to get asked by his dad and brother. What's he going to say? What do you say when you get in trouble and nobody really knows what you did as you're 13 or 14 years old? <clears throat> when my dad and brother said, what happened? I went... <clears throat> don't know. <laughs> no idea. Uh, how did the car get wrecked? No idea. I don't know. No, maybe, 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 no, maybe it was my brother. It was our account, right? I don't know. What me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I must have been hacked. Oh, that one. I must have been hacked. That's, phew, I, don't, phew, I even played for like a week. That's what I'm saying. A couple of days later, I did admit that I was trying an add-on. And I think they maybe have banned my account for that. Oh, it took you two days to come with that excuse. Well, I was installing add-ons, but you're supposed to do that, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they banned me for that. That's all I'm saying. I did do that, but it was like a DPS uh, like meter, which everybody uses. So it shouldn't have been that, right, Dad? That's all I'm saying. So maybe it was that. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I never told them that I used a hack like an idiot. But my dad, uh, my dad gave me a crack <laughs> for wasting his money and our only account. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad's not buying a fucking word of it. And dads won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't. When my son's come to me with some fucking bullshit about some shit they've done, I'll be like, oh, really? You know why I'm asking you this question, son? Because I can't wait to see the bullshit you come out with. I hope it makes me laugh. I genuinely do. Yeah? I know what you did. In fact, I don't even care what you did. I know you did something fucking stupid. I just want to know your lie. Because it's bound to be genius. Because you are far too young to come up with something cool. And it's going to be well funny. I'm going to record it on my phone. Best dad in the world. So, my first guild then. Account sharing anyway. The terms of service. You can do it with among family members. It's allowed. In fact, you can account share with anybody you want to. It's fine. Months later, my birthday rolled around. And, of course, all I'd been asking for was my own copy of World of Warcraft. He knew I missed playing the game and that I felt like shit for ruining the old account. So he decided, sure, I'll get you a new copy and pay for it. He also got one for my brother so we could play together. I rerolled my rogue and a new server, leveled my character and joined a guild. It was mostly PvP, mate, and everyone in it was super chill. We all talked, had a good time, and often just fucked around with world PvP, mate. Nesting where is Safari, though. World PvP, yeah? Fucking world PvP, innit? Yeah, the lobbies. What? Can you believe there are still fucking people? Get this. Get this. There are still fucking people who camp out the towns in Outland. Like level hundreds who do that. Can you fucking believe people do that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with your day? How much free time do you have? Well, that's what you... You're paying for that? You're paying for that experience. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. <clears throat> Thumbs up to you guys, whoever the fuck you are. Yeah, <laughs> I was there in Hellfire Peninsula the other day, and uh, there was a guy just floating above it, some Alliance guy. I was like, what the fuck, really? You're actually camping the town? <laughs> so weird. So weird. Uh, okay. I made good friends with the guild leader, Alki, and a rogue named Moen. But one day, oh no, let me change the names here. Alki and Smith. But one day a new member joined, a player named Moen. Moen was a lady. Moen was very sociable and pleasant to talk to. Oh, she's not a dick. Sold. We talked all the time in guild chat and her and I shared a lot of interests. We liked a lot of the same bands. Songs? You like? Let me think of something that'll trigger everybody. Ah, oh, I know the band. That uh, metal band with the girl singer. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <clears throat> Begins with a P, I think. Is it good with a P? Oh, I've totally forgotten the name. It's gone out of my head. I did know it, but I can't remember now. Nickelback. <laughs> no, Lincoln, oh, it might have been Linkin Park back then. It might have been Linkin Park. <clears throat> it might be. <clears throat> Evanescence. Yes. Paramore. There we go. Paramore. Yeah, the Paramore. No, it's got to be Evanescence. Evanescence is better than Paramore. Evanescence forever. <clears throat> we like lots of the same bands. 
and songs. Wake me up, wake me up in fact. And love the same movies. Like Star Wars and in it, what are the odds? That a boy and a girl both playing a fantasy RPG likes Indiana Jones and Star Wars and Paranessence. What are the odds of that? Crazy. I know. Crazy. I also remember that we had an abnormally long conversation about Fallout Boy and their newest hit, Sugar Were Going Down. <laughs> I apologize for this next sentence. But it really highlights our author. <laughs> I remember thinking at the time that Fallout Boy was gay as fuck. <laughs> but I pretended to like it because she liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but Moen. That bitch that hussy <laughs> moen also talked to other people including smith fucking bitch quite a lot actually i felt a little jealous whenever she would reply being the dumb tween boy i was at the time i started to I started to ask questions i asked alki if they talked when i was offline does she or does she go silent as she should appropriately do when I am not present? Does she stop typing, this filthy harlot? Are you telling me that when I'm not online, she continues to speak to members of this guild? Is that what you're trying to tell me? He said, yes, she does. Clean your vagina, woman. Clean it. Clean it. I felt physically angry. How dare she? And I'd noticed that she hadn't had a long conversation with me, even about Fallout, Fallout Boy, in a few days. Outrageous. Outrageous, I say. Later that week, I whispered Smith. Does he, doth, doth he wish to join me in some Warsome Gulch or AB for honourable battle? He did not respond. I went to the Stormwind PvP place anyway to queue up solo for Warsong Gulch. Do you? <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm ruining your immersion. Do you remember when we all thought it was really bullshit that they changed it so you could queue in the cities instead of actually going to the battlegrounds? Do you remember that? We thought it was bullshit. It was bullshit. Why are they making the game easy mode? Because in order to do Alteric Valley, you didn't have to fly to Alteric to do it. It didn't make any sense, right? Or didn't have to go to Warsong Lumber Mill to get into the Warsong Gulch. God, this game is easy mode now. <laughs> and now we have LFG and shit. How crazy. Back in the day, we thought that was bullshit, by the way. <laughs> it was total bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, they mo you used to have to go to the battleground itself and walk into the portal. That's how you had to used to do it. <clears throat> and then they changed it so you had to talk to an NPC in the city. <clears throat> which was... Uh, everyone thought it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that was bullshit. Anyway, back to Fallout Boy. Let's continue on. <clears throat> there, I saw Smith and I saw Moen standing in the corner. I targeted one of them. And then, you're not going to believe this. Then after a few moments, they both logged off. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought to myself, they saw me and logged off? What the fuck? is going down i guess that they were probably e-sexing she's literally sucking his dick right now that's all the only explanation the only explanation as to what just occurred is they are literally having imagination sex right now and this is right in front of me basically they're basically doing it in my house i was enraged and heartbroken after all the talks moan and i had had pretending to like fallout boy all the bands we liked. And she had chosen someone else. The guild had a guild forum. And a lot of guildies post there often. There was a post your own photos thread. Of course there is. Come on girls. <laughs> Come on. We're posting our pictures. One day a girl will post this forum. And there we would you know. Post pictures. You could find all of our mugs there. As well as terrible emo pic of myself. Moen also had posted in the thread. Oh, she was a 9 out of 10. 
She had green eyes, brunette hair. <clears throat> Once I saw her picture, I was even more heartbroken. She was an attractive gamer girl who shared all my interests and she didn't talk to me anymore. Our guild leader, Alki, though, he also posted his thread, but he didn't post his picture. He linked a modeling agency website that hosted the photo that Moen had linked, saying, catfished, motherfucker. The thread erupted with lulls. The lulls were many. The lulls were plentiful. Mostly it was other guildies just poking fun at her because she was probably a big fat monkey. Like the rest of us. Okay, to be fair, just like the rest of us, right? <laughs> Look at this handsome devilish features. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Moen never replied. <laughs> and I, of course, became super curious as to what she really looked like. Now there's a mystery. Now she's become an enigma. Now we're going in. I told this to Smith and he let me in on a little secret. Smith had pictures of her. Not only that, he said he had the nuds. And I was like, dude, share. He said, no, I respect her privacy. <laughs> not enough to tell you, not to tell you that she sent me nudies. Nuds, right? We got the nuds. But enough not to share them. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I begged. I begged. Not only did I want to see some tits, I was curious. It's more a science project than wank fodder. That's all I'm saying. It's more for science than wank fodder is all I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. It was more for science than it was for wank fodder. <laughs> but Smith held out on me. Maybe he was lying. I don't know. But I came up with a plan. I had a plan. On our forums, we also had a place where we shared... X-Fire names. <laughs> what are you playing on Crossfire? Yeah. Moen had posted in there. I did a Google search with the X-Fire name in hopes of finding some sort of link, some sort of, some sort of piece of the puzzle to link to the real picture. I realize now this does make me a little bit of a creeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. But, you know, <laughs> you know, X-Fire. <laughs> Let's play. I did the search. I forget what her name was, but it was some lyric or song name of a band she liked. One of the top results, of course, was a MySpace page. Oh, shit. We're in there with Tom and the boys. I clicked on it thinking, perfect. People use their own photos on MySpace. The page loaded and it was a man's MySpace page. Weird, I thought. A few seconds went by and I had a horrifying thought. That this was interrupted by the profile song that kicked in, but I shit you not. With Fallout Boys, Sugar were going down. Oh no, the confirmation is real. It started playing because MySpace used to let you blast music at people when they checked your page. It was the song I pretended to like in an attempt to have an e girlfriend. Oh no. I read his page. The crossfire name was in his bio, along with all his interests. I recognized the interests. Fallout Boy was on there. The movies, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, everything. Holy shiz bang. I started having a giggle, but I was terrified at the same time. My heart dropped into my mouth that I had pictured going down on what was now a man. <laughs> All the thoughts of sweet, sweet puss just turned into a giant mushroom-headed cock. But I couldn't change it. It was in the brain. It was the most horrifying revelation I had in my life at that point. I felt like I was in a movie and it uncovered a dark secret that no one else knew about. Even the way he typed in his bio and stuff, it was the same as Moen typed. I didn't know what to do with this forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. <laughs> it is forbidden. We must not speak of it. Lest you have the imagery. Lest you have the dreams as I have had the dreams of what was once tits and now pecks. It's forbidden. Forbidden, I say. I had enjoyed my time in the guild and loved talking to everyone and Moan was always the person to get everyone talking in guild chat. I thought that what if I gave up this forbidden knowledge? The guild would get awkward and no one would talk anymore since everyone liked Moan. But what about Smith? He had been catfished. He looked my age. I knew they probably had a lot of e-sex via whispers or instant messages or something. This was bad. 
I was no longer jelly. I was conflicted about telling Smith or not. Moen was happy pretending to be a girl, flirting with the guys, e-sexing them. Smith was probably happy to be receiving and totally believing it. It is my... Is it my place to ruin their happiness? Or should I reveal the truth? And then I remembered what he when he didn't show me the nuds. Bro, you had nuds and did not share them with the bro conclave. You denied tits. Bros do not deny bros tits. Yeah? Never. That's bro code right there. That's sacred. It's sacred amongst bros that bros do not deny other bros boobs. Because we spend our entire lives looking for boobs. It is our mission above all else. It's like, provide for your family, keep the wife happy, seek out boobs. Right above all of it. It is our raison d'etre. It is what we are. And we can't help it. Caveman forever. <sighs> they obviously weren't the real nuds. From the person he was talking to. But they were nuds nonetheless. It doesn't matter that they weren't hers. You denied the sharing of boobs. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter they were fake boobs. It doesn't matter. They're still boobs. Fuck it, I thought. I would have shown him like a bro. If I had the nudes, I'd have shown you the nudes. That's all I'm going to say, bro. That's all I'm saying. I decided I wouldn't tell him directly. I would just send him a PM on our guild forums about the whole situation. With the links, of course, to MySpace. Never forget. Since I knew he never checked his PMs or logged in, it's probably still sitting there and read to this day. The guild was none the wiser and I played with them until the end of the Burning Crusade. I came back in wrath to try raiding. My IRL buddy was in a top horde guild, and they took me in and I raided a bit as Resto Druid and Kata. I made the switch to my main, a prop warrior Tauren. I skipped Mott because, pandas, didn't have to play one. <laughs> didn't have to play one. I also played what? Since a bunch of IRL friends wanted to get into it. We prepped our twos, but the guild fell apart a week before Hellfire Citadel released. I had all my shit ready on my warrior, did the endless tanking achievement, got the best ring at the time from the alleged request line, Decked out in heroics, ready to raid. Unfortunately, they all quit. With the announcement legion and watching your alpha videos, I'm more inspired than ever to get my shit together. Get proper logs, applications, and videos, and apply to a decent raid guild. Boom! Thank you. Also, I don't talk to Smith anymore, but I do have him on the good book. Last thing I saw from him was a nasty breakup with a real girlfriend. And he posted her nudes all over the good book. Mm. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool not cool we don't do that and that ladies and gentlemen 10 minutes over time because as you can probably work out i do not have to pick up my kids today hey brings us to the end of drama friday not cool don't uh spread the nudes privately yeah not public not public we don't do that not cool exactly see see the bro code how easy is it to follow the bro code it's so easy don't be a douchebag just share the boobs around right come on we have to work hard for our boobs we do we have to put effort in Look at this. I, mean, I don't want to be wearing clothes. You kidding me? I want to sit and play some fucking video games, man. <laughs> I want to sit and play video games. That's what I want to do. And then boobs should arrive on its own. The bro code is so easy. It's so fucking easy. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings to the end of this drama. There will be another drama on Friday, of course. I am endeavouring to get all of the videos out as well as finish the legacy in the next few days. The legacy is expected, expected to be out for the Patreon bros on Wednesday of next week. Final announcement is I will be in Berlin uh, next weekend. Not the weekend coming. So we have a web show this weekend. I will be in Berlin with Mr. Ghost. Me and Ghosty will be in Berlin in two weeks time on the weekend. So if you are Team Germany or you'll be in Berlin, we uh, will we'll, we'll, we'll sort it to be in Berlin center during the day. Uh, and if you're going to be there, tweet us out. We'll let you know where you are. Uh, I will be in the Berlin with Mr. Goost. And we can say hi. It's the Stark meeting, but I'll make some time to pop into the center of Berlin to try and meet as many people as possible and say hi while we're there and all that good shit. I will uh, make a little separate video announcing that to everybody who doesn't watch drama, as they're all different members of our audience. But other than that, have a great, great week. It's Monday, so we're just getting started. We'll have fun. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.